Okay, now the real fun begins with the LEM 218 and the Buchla 200 reissues. Uh, what I have going here is I have pressure going to the 257 uh, CV processor so that I can sort of adjust the range of uh, opening the wave shape here. There's also a way to adjust that in the two, uh, LEM 218, but I'm do an analog here so okay got the arpeggi arpeggiator going um pitch is going to the saw uh, sign saw uh pulse is going to a 218 to open the gate over here um and i have the preset outputs here the the output's going to decay of the 281, so in the first stage, it's short. The second stage, it transposes and gets more legato. And third is most legato. And what I have the ribbon going to, this is a fun little thing to do. Uh, since on a complex oscillator like the 259, you would have a modulation index. So if you wanted to do pitch modulation, basically FM, you just use the mod index. But the um, way to do that with a 258 is I come out of the sine square, go into a 292, and have that output go to FM. The FM is open to where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use, um, what am I using? Oh, I'm using the strip out to add FM. So in uh, when the strip's down here, we just get, let's see. And we can add FM. And of course I can add wave shape changing that you heard. What I love about the strip is wherever you stop, that is the voltage it is continuing to send. It doesn't reset itself. So. So I find this very expressive and a wonderful interface for all these modules in the 200 reissue. Enjoy.